There's a big difference between religion and spirituality. Religion, uh, generally so called, is a, a series of dogmas and doctrines that's supported by a ritual and certainly a sacred scripture. And the motivational uh, under, underpinnings, of course, is fear with a subset of guilt, shame, and blame. And that's religion. And on the other side of the coin, is spirituality, which has an altogether different sense. Whereas, say like religion is based upon belief systems, and the belief systems are considered to be absolute, they're true. So say like if I believe God is X, but you believe God is Y, you leave me only one of two choices. I either can convert you to my understanding or my belief in God, or for your sake, kill you to relieve you of your ignorance, and which is what religion is all about, and which continues to this day. Spirituality, on the other hand, is all grounded in experience of the divine, whatever you want to call that. So each one of the religious traditions has a spirituality that supports the institution. So say like in Judaism, you have three aspects of Judaism, the Reform, the Conservative, and the Orthodox, and they fight one another. They don't get along. The Orthodox refuses to accept the marriages if they're not Orthodox. Got it? On the spiritual side, you have those who contemplate the Kabbalah. One. God is one. Christianity, you have the general distinction between Catholics and Protestants. They don't get along. On the other side, you have what are known as the Christian mystics, who have, again, the appreciation that God is one. This, the, the Islam, you have the Islamic folk divided into the Shias and the Sunnis. They don't get along, but on the other side, you have the 14 orders of Sufis. God is one. Hindu, well, Hindu, you have those who follow Lord Shiva, Lord Vishnu, and Lord Brahma. They get along because of the understanding of Lord Brahma, but on the other side, their spiritual side, they have the Raja Yoga. God is one. And Buddhism, good Lord. What, Buddhism, you have Vajrayana, Mahayana, and Mayahana, you know, or Hinayana. And, of course, they don't really fight with one another, but on the other side, you have Zen. And Zen Buddhism has nothing to do with, really, Hinayana, Mayahana, or Vajrayana. Zen is Zen. Christian mysticism is Christian mysticism. The Kabbalists are the Kabbalists. Raja Yoga is Raja Yoga. Those would be called the monastic side. What does the word monk mean? The word monk comes from the Greek word manos, which means one. So all monks from every religious tradition have what is known as a monastic practice that engenders this experience, for the lack of a better word, of the divine God, oneness, whatever word you want to put on this.